the, the most transformative <clears throat> was the birth of my child, May 24th, 1951. Up until then, I was pretty self-centered. I was raised by two loving parents, two sets of loving grandparents. My brother John and I were pretty spoiled. And I married young to a wonderful young man who was also too young for marriage. And we had a child who we'd been married less than a year. I was 19 when I married and 20 when I gave birth to my daughter, Kathleen. And that's when I realized what my priorities were. She was the most important person in my universe and it was life changing. Aww. Okay, the second one was uh, my marriage to Rolf Olson ended, and I remarried a man named Ernest W. Vanderberg. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I can't wait to hear the story. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he drank too much, but I thought because I loved him, he would quit. I was still young and stupid. We moved to Pontiac, Michigan, where he took a job in an automobile dealership. We lived outside of Pontiac, and I was isolated out there. I enrolled Kathleen in school, but I really had no life. I received a telephone call one day, some months after we had moved, from former employer, employer Eugene Fisher. He told me that Mr. Harrington, the office manager, had cancer, and was there any chance of me coming back and taking over? I said I would come back if my salary was enough to support myself and my daughter. We came to an agreement. Van was gone. I put the furniture in storage and came back. Divorced him, made a life for Kathleen and myself. 